In this video, I will be drawing the diagram of human male reproductive system. So follow me along the video to draw this diagram easily. The human male reproductive system. It's a fascinating network of organs working in concert to produce sperm and facilitate fertilization. Let's explore its key components and their functions. One, the testes, testicles, the sperm factories. These oval-shaped organs, typically housed within the scrotum, are the primary reproductive glands in males. Spermatogenesis. The testes are responsible for the continuous production of sperm, the male gametes, through a process called spermatogenesis. This process begins during puberty and continues throughout a man's life. Testosterone production. The testes also produce testosterone, the primary male sex hormones. Two. The scrotum, the protective pouch. The scrotum is a sac of skin that hangs outside the abdomen below the penis. Its primary function is to regulate the temperature of the testes. Sperm production requires a temperature slightly lower than the core body temperature, about two to three degrees Celsius. Muscles in the scrotal wall contract or relax to move the testes closer to or farther away from the body to maintain this optimal temperature. Three. The epididymis, the sperm maturation and storage unit. This coiled tube, located on the back of each testis, is where sperm go to mature after being produced in the testes. Maturation. During their journey through the epididymis, which can take several days, sperm undergo biochemical changes that enable them to become modal, able to swim, and capable of fertilization. Storage. The epididymis also serves as a storage site for mature sperm. The vas deferens, the sperm highway. These are two muscular tubes that carry mature sperm from the epididymis to the ejaculatory ducts. Peristalsis, the walls of the vas deferens contain smooth muscle that contracts rhythmically, peristalsis, to propel the sperm forward. Five, the seminal vesicles, the energy and fluid providers. These two pouch-like glands are located behind the bladder and contribute fluid to the semen. Seminal fluid. They secrete a viscous, alkaline fluid rich in fructose, a sugar that provides energy for sperm motility. Prostaglandins, which help with uterine contractions during fertilization, and other substances that enhance sperm viability. Six. The prostate gland. Another fluid contributor. This walnut-sized gland is located below the bladder and surrounds the urethra. Prostatic fluid. The prostate gland secretes a milky, slightly acidic fluid that contains enzymes, like prostate-specific antigen or PSA, and other substances that contribute to sperm motility and neutralization of the acidic environment of the female reproductive tract. 7. The bulbourethral glands. Cowper's glands. The lubricators. These two small glands are located below the prostate gland. Pre-ejaculate. They secrete a clear, slippery fluid, pre-ejaculate, into the urethra before ejaculation. This fluid helps to neutralize any acidic urine remaining in the urethra and lubricates the urethra to facilitate the passage of semen. Eight, the ejaculatory ducts, the merging point. These short tubes are formed by the union of the vas deferens and the duct of the seminal vesicle. Semen delivery. The ejaculatory ducts pass through the prostate gland and empty into the urethra. Nine, the urethra, the shared pathway. This tube extends from the bladder through the penis to the outside of the body. Dual function. In males, the urethra serves a dual function. It carries urine from the bladder out of the body, and it also carries semen during ejaculation. A sphincter muscle at the base of the bladder prevents urine from entering the urethra during ejaculation. 10. The penis, the external organ of reproduction. The penis is the external male reproductive organ. Erection. It consists of spongy erectile tissue that becomes engorged with blood during sexual arousal, leading to an erection which allows for penetration during sexual intercourse. The human male reproductive system is a complex and coordinated system 
designed for the production, maturation, storage, and transport of sperm, ultimately enabling fertilization.